Thunder Dave Steinman claims to have invented Mio Energy and to therefore be the natural choice for spokesperson of the brand. Mio Energy is the greatest source of energy ever discovered. Just hit the tag for me. Personal, portable, Mio Energy. I just went on the vision quest. At that sort of uh, makeshift press conference at the weigh-ins on, on Thursday, Dana talked about going to this fight in Boston, wanting to scout Drew Fickett. You fought Drew Fickett. You had only, I think, three or so fights on your record. They were looking yeah. at Drew for the ultimate fighter. You lost to Drew, but he ended up giving you the, 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 the opportunity. He was really amazed by, by your heart and your skill and all that stuff. And you go mm -hmm. on the show, Drew Fickett goes to jail and you know doesn't really make uh, much of it his career. Uh, did you even mm -hmm. know that UFC President Dana White was in attendance that day at the fight and, and, and what he was coming to see, like scouting your opponent and all that stuff? What, what do you remember of that whole situation? Yeah, someone told me that he maybe was going to be there. Well, the promoter actually told came over, and he's like, ah, you know, White's going to be here. I think he's looking at Drew, you know. you know, He's looking at Drew Fix. Maybe you, if you could beat him, blah, blah, blah. And I said, all right, well, whatever, you know. I, I see MMA and being in the UFC, that wasn't even on my radar, you know. I, I had no intention of, of being a pro fighter. Back then, I was just kind of doing it to do it and do it, doing it as a test to my Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I, I had no intention of, like, you know, saying I want to be a great striker, I want to do this. It was just kind of a, a test that I wanted to do, and and it wasn't even till after the Ultimate Fighter when I lost to Diego Sanchez. That's when I was like, okay, you know, let's do this. So even when you were on the show, you didn't even think that you were going to make a career out of this. No, I, I honestly did. I did it for the experience. I thought it was going to be a cool experience and uh, just a, a good opportunity to train with, you know, good guys and and. Uh, you know, I just thought the whole concept was, was pretty interesting. And even then, I still didn't really say I want to be a UFC fighter. I, yeah. So, so what did you want to be in your career? I mean, you were a soccer player, but that was done with. You yeah. obviously loved jiu-jitsu. What did you want to be? All I wanted to, all I wanted to do was really um, be able to train jiu-jitsu and teach jiu-jitsu. That's all I really thought I would, I would do. Was I just wanted to be a professional martial artist, not necessarily a mixed martial artist. I, I just wanted to... Um, be able to train and teach every day. That that really was my passion. I remember back in the day, you know, when I was working a full time job, I said, you know, if I can get paid to put a gi on every day, I'll be the happiest guy in the world. But I was. I was probably making like five hundred to a thousand dollars a month, and I thought I was in heaven. I mean, it was the greatest thing ever. And is it true that you got into jujitsu because you had sort of a near death experience in Brazil? Yeah, I, I got. I I actually committed to being a. a a martial artist after that experience. So when I almost, when I, you know, fell off a cliff in Brazil, I was already doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, but I was working full time. I was there kind of on vacation and training for an upcoming Jiu Jitsu tournament. And um, yeah, it was that experience. I said, man, you know, I'm, I'm working a job that, you know, I'm not so passionate about. I am passionate about martial arts. Like that could have been, you know, the, and that could have been it for me. I could have died, you know, doing that. And here I am following something that I'm not passionate about. You know, we only have, you know, one life. Let's, let's follow my passion. And that was martial arts and Brazilian jiu-jitsu at the time. And that ultimately became, you know, mixed martial arts. What, what exactly happened there? You just sort of gloss over something pretty major. You fell off yeah. a cliff? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, descending down Pedro de Gavia, uh, which is a pretty famous, you know, rock or mountain in, in uh, Rio de Janeiro and, and Baja da Chuca, Brazil. And um, I kind of went off the path with some buddies, um, and uh, it was slippery. It was kind of just rained. And, I, you know, my buddy first, he slipped, um, and then I slipped, except when I did it, it was kind of uh, – I slipped kind of heading – you know, down towards the cliff, I was heading feet first. My buddy went to grab me to kind of save me, uh, grabbed my shirt and actually like kind of missed me. So he grabbed my shirt, flung me around. Now I was going head first off the cliff. So he wasn't able to hold on. And, um, cause he kind of had to like save himself too. Cause it was very, very slippery. And I went head first off this cliff. And I remember it was probably like a 15 foot drop, which is a pretty decent drop, but like, it seemed like it was forever. I remember just saying, like, well, this is it. I guess this is how I'm going to die. And I remember it just being, like, kind of this slow-mo, uh, you know, situation. And I um, landed, luckily, on this rounded rock. I landed right on my back. Wow. Um, and luckily, I don't know how I did not hit it. And if I didn't, that rock would have fallen, like, hundreds of feet. Like, if that rock saved me, I would have fallen off the cliff, and it would have been very, very bad.
Wow, that's unbelievable. Um, yeah. And then with that, with that meeting with Dana, I mean, did he come up to you in the locker room and say, hey, like, what was that like, meeting UFC President Dana White after the fight, a fight that you just lost? Yeah, he, um, yeah, I lost by split decision, and he was like, listen, he's like, I was really impressed, you know, I, I thought you won the fight, you know, and um, he's like, you know, we, we're doing this show called The Ultimate Fighter, you have your brother interview you and send us an, uh, a video, you know, just send us an interview, and I kind of just was upset with the decision, angry that I lost, and I was like, okay, yeah, 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 whatever, and um it wasn't until a couple weeks later that people were like, you know, are you going to send in an interview to do the to do the show? I was like, I just sent in a seminar DVD where I was teaching. <laughs> I was just teaching uh, in the seminar DVD, and I sent that in instead. And uh, sure enough, I got the call.